Hi kids, it's Miss Sally and Ricky. Today we are lighting our second Advent candle. We have this Advent week here because we are getting ready, we're preparing, we're waiting for Christmas to celebrate Jesus' birthday. We use this purple candles because purple is like a sign of royalty. Did you ever notice that when you see kings and queens and princesses in the movies, they wear a lot of purple. Purple is a sign of royalty. And we think of Jesus as royalty sometimes. He is our Christ, our King. He is the King of Kings, we sometimes say. So we think of Je when we think of Jesus, we can think of purple sometimes too. We light the first candle last week because we called that the candle of hope. And we are hoping for Christmas. And we're also waiting and hoping for Jesus to come again to earth one day. Today, we light the second candle, the candle of love. And we light that candle because we love Jesus. We know that Jesus loved us so much that he came to earth as a baby. And then we love him right back with everything we have too, don't we? So we light the second candle, the candle of love. It's also sort of thought of as the candle of the time of preparation. We're probably doing a lot of stuff this week to prepare for Christmas, aren't we? So I like to put up my crash, my manger scene. It's very special to me. And maybe you have one at your house that you're, you have put up or you're going to put up. Maybe you put out some lights outside. Maybe your tree is already up. But we do lots of things to prepare for Christmas. Well, today I'm going to tell you a story about how God prepared for Jesus coming. And it's the story of a man called John the Baptist. Let's go back, though, before John was born. There was a man named Zechariah. He was a priest in the temple, and he was married to a woman named Elizabeth. And Zechariah was in the temple one day, and he saw the angel Gabriel. He saw an angel. And the angel said, I come to tell you that you are going to have a baby. Zachariah laughed at the angel. He laughed. He said, I'm too old. My wife is too old. We're not having any babies. Well, the angel was very disappointed with Zechariah, and it ended up that Zechariah from that moment on couldn't speak until after the baby was born. Well, his wife Elizabeth did become pregnant. She did have a baby in her tummy. One day, Mary, the mother of Jesus, one day that Mary came to visit, she was like a cousin of Elizabeth and she came to their house for a visit and when she arrived Elizabeth's belly where the baby was jumped for joy the Bible tells us and she ran to Mary and she knew right away that Mary was carrying the baby Jesus that would be our Savior one day Elizabeth already knew that. The Holy Spirit had told her. Well, they were both so happy together that day, and they were both going to have babies soon. Eventually, Mary went home, and the baby John, the ba John was born. You know, Zachariah still couldn't speak after all these months. You know what it's like not to speak. It's really hard, isn't it? Like when you play charades, it can be hard not to say anything. 
Well, imagine Zacharias still couldn't speak all this time. When the baby was born, they, um, they went to name the baby and Elizabeth said, his name is John. And the people said, don't you want to call him Zachariah Jr.? And she was very sure she wanted the name John. And they sort of looked at Zachariah who couldn't speak and he got a tablet. And a tablet would have been not like paper like we have now. But anyway, he wrote on the tablet, his name is John. And that's what he was named after that. Well, remember I told you this was in, this all happened when John the Baptist and Jesus were just born and, and in their mommy's bellies. But eventually John grew up and God spoke to him. And God told John that he was going to prepare the way for Jesus. And he did that by going out in the wilderness and he was a nature man. The Bible says he lived on honey and grasshoppers and he dressed in camel hair, which would be really rough, and leather and, and things that weren't soft and comfortable to wear. But whatever nature kind of guy John the Baptist was, John let everybody know that he was there to tell them about Jesus coming. The Savior was coming. John would baptize people in the river when they believed in the Savior coming. And so one day when Jesus was grown up and he was ready to go into his work for God, he actually went to John the Baptist and was baptized in the river. You see, John prepared the way for Jesus to come. When Jesus started preaching, he already had a lot of followers because John had told them Jesus was coming. And then they followed him. And so John the Baptist was the preparer for Jesus. We can prepare for Jesus coming too. We do that with our Advent calendar, right? There's some different things. Maybe you bake some cookies this week. I bake some cookies too and put them in with some meals I delivered. And I didn't actually draw the picture, but I do have some photographs from Christmas's past that I'm sharing. So let's keep working on our Advent calendar as it prepares us for Christmas, the celebration of Jesus' birth. You can also be prepared by reading your Bible or your Bible story book. And don't forget to pray and say your grace. All those prepares your heart for when Jesus, we celebrate Jesus' birthday. Can we pray about that? Let's bow our heads. Father God, we thank you for your son Jesus, that he came to earth for, to make the way for us to come to know you and be in heaven with you one day. Father God, thank you for Christmas and the celebration we share of Jesus' birthday. Show us how we can be prepared and show others the way to Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Kids, I want to show you what I made this week. I went online and I found some pictures of John the Baptist. Ricky, you have to help me hold this. Uh-oh, Ricky, we dropped it. Let's try another one. I found some pictures of John the Baptist online, and I printed them out, and I can put a link in our, on our video. And I used burlap on this one. 
I used felt on one. I wanted to show that John the Baptist, he didn't go the easy route and wear soft cotton clothes. He wore camel's hair and, and it felt prickly and, and awkward. And you know what? I should have drew in some bees because, and grasshoppers because he liked to eat honey and grasshoppers. Anyway, we're not going to do that to prepare for Jesus, but it's a good reminder of the story of John the Baptist. You have a great week as we get ready next week to light our third candle, the candle for joy. Take care. Bye.